Does anybody know where I am? That's right. I have an idea. I got some peanut gallery behind me. It's gonna mess up the whole video. Um, that's right, I am in Sedona. Little did I know, I've only been here twice, uh, that also lives here permanently. Unlike my buddy who lives here part-time, that's the famous Scott Sawarby, uh, otherwise known as the gringo from Mexico. <laughs> He's been in some videos before. He's gonna tell us all about how great Sedona is in a second. But before we get to that, we're gonna just completely revel in the fact that not only is Ocotillo here, you gotta talk over the airplanes. You can fly here if you want, if you got enough cash, cachet. Anyway, yeah, I came at the perfect time. I noticed when I was driving across, I bought this truck recently here. Maybe you saw a video on that. And uh, all of New Mexico, half of New Mexico is bright green grass. And the other half was uh, really dry and stark on the uh, Eastern side. And I realized there must have been a massive monsoon recently. And it looks to me like the same thing happened here. Scott might be a witness to that. I can attest. Okay. I was here. You were here. I was here. All right. So it did happen. And the way I know it happened is the Ocotillo leafed out. Most of the year, this thing is dry. You know, you can see how parched and dry the conditions it lives in. And it lives in the California desert. I'm used to seeing it out there. Um, but I just, I've been to Sedona a couple times. But I had no idea... Uh, that it lived here and I'm so surprised to see it and so happy to see it. So I'm teaching Scott about this plant and uh, to me this plant it's called the one that we have in California is called Ocotillo splendens. I would not be surprised if this is a different species because it's so far apart because I know there's multiple species of Ocotillo and um, Scott, Scott, Scott's got an Ocotillo. Wait dude don't move. Don't move. You got one stuck between your legs. No, that's my Ocotillo. No, it's stuck between you. You gotta, no. don't, don't move. Don't move. That thing's gonna, it's spiky. Oh. You need to back up very slowly. Oh. Back up very, oh. back up very, oh. very slowly. Yeah. Yeah. As, as you can see, these are the kind of people I hang out with, which tells, tells you a lot about me, right? <laughs> anyway, there it is, Ocotillo. You can grow this in California, people. You need to grow it where there's really good drainage. If you grow this down in the swamp, it will die. If you grow it in the clay, like down at ground level, it will die. But if you make a big mound above all the clay, about two feet, and you plant it in broken rock and sand, it will live. It will live. And uh, so what will happen to it, don't give it any water. Let's let it do its thing. Uh, and what will happen is what's happening right now is those are the flowers up there. Well, no, maybe it, they've already flowered. Let's take a look. Let's get close and intimate with this plant. That to me looks like it was already flowered. So they usually flower in red. Um, I don't know. I'm sure this one's probably red too. But what's different, it seems to me, about this one versus the California one, they have more of a kind of a gray foliage, which I think is really beautiful. And uh, yeah, so if anybody knows out there, what uh, if this is a separate species? Let's see if I can get a silhouette here. Going down low of this plant looking up at the sun and uh, anybody knows uh what species this is uh please let me know if it's different than the regular one and what i'm gonna do right now is uh maybe it's a, a undescribed species what would you call it scott i would call it a distraction because this is what happens when i go out with gary we go on a hike and we got to stop and and meet oko tio <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go. So we're going to go back on our hike, and I'm going to try not to slow down the hike anymore, and that's it. Hope you have a good day. See ya. Scott, that is one heck of a shadow. Where's that coming from? The Ocotillo. Oh, oh, damn. You're right. Look at this thing. This is the biggest bass one I've seen yet. I just had to interrupt our hike one more time. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there it is next to the big rock off in the distance. How's that for... The framing right there. And there it is with upset Scott uh, that's not hiking right now. I wish he was. <laughs> Let's go.